Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and I've been asked to find the slope and y-intercept of the equation of the line below, there it is, the equation of the line, and then use them to graph the line. So I'm going to get a slope, I'm going to get a y-intercept, and then once I know what they are, I'll use that information to draw my picture of the line on this graph here. Uh, that's what they've asked me to do. Now this is the sixth of a series of question of the day videos on the same topic and it's definitely the most challenging so if you haven't seen the other side go back and watch those first. Uh, but let's take a look here. Uh, remember that um, we know how to find slope and y-intercept when looking at an equation of a line. We just use what they call the slope intercept form of a line. And basically, this is on the GED formula sheet, so you don't need to memorize it, but it's this equation, y equals mx plus b. And what that means is when you have y alone on its side of the equal sign, um, you are going to be able to see the slope. The slope is the m, the letter multiplying, or the number multiplying with x. We call that the coefficient. And the B is the what we call y-intercept. It's whatever number is adding or subtracting uh, with x. Now, we've done all these five videos before that were pretty straightforward. Now we come to this more complex one. It's actually an easier line than the others, but students lose their mind because they feel like it's in the wrong format. Look at my line. It's hard to see it as y equals mx plus b because it looks like I'm missing information. All I see is y is equal to negative 4. So what is that negative 4? Is it an M? Is it a B? Hard to tell. Well, here's how you can tell. Ask yourself, is this number multiplying or dividing with X? Well, it's not. It doesn't say Y equals negative 4X. Instead, it just sees, says Y equals negative 4. So you might be saying, well, this isn't even a line. There's no X in there. Well, let's think about it this way. If you see no X's, it's like you have zero X's. Okay, so what does that mean to us? Now it looks like it's in the form y equals mx plus b. There you go. We can see that the slope of this line, my m, is 0. I have 0 x's. And you can see that the y-intercept of this line is negative 4. What number is adding uh, with x the number negative 4 or minus 4? Same difference. Okay, and so now I can graph this line. We've got a y-intercept of negative 4, meaning that my line is going to cross the y-axis, here's the y-axis, at the point negative 4. So my line is going to go through there. Now notice, this line has a nice flat slope of 0. It does not slope. It does not go up. It does not go down. It is a 0 flat line. And so there it is, the line y equals negative 4. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.